How did the Israelites conquer Jericho? The Israelites conquered Jericho by following God's instructions that included an unusual plan. Instead of attacking Jericho as an army would in battle, the Israelites marched around the city over a seven-day period. While carrying the Ark of the Covenant before them, they blew trumpets and shouted loudly. On the seventh day, the force of the trumpets and sh shouts as their faith in God caused the walls to fall. Ha the land in Canaan was distributed among the twelve tribes by casting lots. The Israelites believed that the outcome of drawing lots was an expression of God's will. Deborah, one of the first judges described by the biblical writers, she was called by God to remind the Israelites to keep the covenant. Delilah, the Philistine woman who Sam's son married after the death of his first wife, she portrayed Samsung son af by divulging the secret of his strength to his enemies. Samson, an a Nazarite blessed by God with great strength. His story his story symbolized the Israelite nation of his time. His birth like Israel's represented God's guidance and his straying from God's will was also like Israel's. Nazarite, a person cons consecrated to God. The book of Joshua, the Old Testament book that deals with the Israelites' entry into Canaan. Jericho, a well-known city in Canaan, captured in an unusual way by the Israelites. The book, sorry, the book of Judges is the Old Testament book that explains the settling of Canaan over 200 years. The pattern of the behavior followed by the Israelites are number one, Israelites turned away from the one true God and worshipped false gods. Two, God allowed na other nations to rule over the, over the Israelites. Israel Three Israelites cry over for cry out for God's help. Four God remembers the covenant and sends a delivery or a judge or a judge to save the Israelites. And five the the judge defeats the Israelites' enemy and peace is restored. Philistines enemies of the Israelites. The Book of Ruth, the a beautiful Old Testament book that explains. God's presence in everyday life. Ruth, a widow known for the devotion and kindness that dem that she demonstrated towards her mother-in-law, Naomi. Naomi, a widow protected by the devotion and kindness of her daughter-in-law, Ruth, lived a life of faithfulness and kindness. A prophet, someone who speaks on God's behalf, Samuel. A son, the son of Hannah, who call, who was called on by God to be a prophet, believed that only God should be king. A monarchy, a government ruled by one person, a king or a queen. Saul, is Israel, Israel, Israelites, Israelites, 